or, or their texting is off. I was one of you to always say their texting is off. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to spend a bit of time reflecting on the past year. In particular, five lessons I've learned this year that I plan on taking with me um, on my life's journey. Uh, these lessons, most the majority I would say have come from negative experiences and it's my hope that through sharing these experiences and the lesson that's come from them that um it'll help you avoid similar situations and yeah to just live a more fulfilled life okay so let's get into it I am going to be using my trusty computer because I just find it's easy when I have a point of reference versus me trying to remember everything off of the top of my head. So the first one is have difficult conversations. Um, if you follow me on social media, you know that I like to be silly, I like to have fun, and I like to be positive. That's at least that's how I think about myself. And that's that's what I hope people get from me when they meet me and when they interact with me. That you know, um, I've brought a bit of positivity, a bit of joy, a bit of light, heartness to their life and their encounter. Um, despite this, I've actually had quite a bit of difficulty with my personal life and um, I've been in conflict with some of my friends for oh, quite a few, sorry, for quite a few months actually. Um, and my personality is one and what i've realized is that i struggle to have difficult conversations i hate it i would rather be dragged on a road than have difficult conversations it's just more painful to me and this is a flaw i'm not saying because i recognize it oh everyone else should get a build around me this is a huge flaw and, and what it means is that um, depending on the personalities you're dealing with, when it comes to conflict, it could lead to something that shouldn't even be a conflict. Um, so with one of my friends, one of the conflict that we would constantly get into is a prolonged silence and nothing annoys me more than silence. I hate, hate passive aggressiveness and uh, my, because I'm so bad at having difficult conversation, I think I kind of exacerbate it and it becomes this prolonged um, silence. And you can imagine how difficult it is to um, just be going about your life and ignoring is that the word not communicating not talking i guess ignoring is right and ignoring someone that that was once such a, a big part of your life i am so i think what i've learned is that it's important despite your personality despite your flaws despite your preferences it's important to have difficult um, conversations and one one person who has helped me on this journey is Robin Sharma. Um, I began watching his conversation, uh, sorry, I began watching his YouTube on how to be more vocal. And um, he mentioned something that was quite profound. He said, having difficult conversation allows you to step into the next level of your power. When you don't speak up, you betray yourself. And you know that, that resonated so much with me because when you don't speak up, then someone can't know how you feel. Um, you can't resolve what might have been a, a simple um, misunderstanding that could have been cleared up quite quickly. Um, 
he goes on to say, you give away your power to the things you avoid. Um, so one thing I've started doing is having difficult conversations. And so far it's actually helped my relationships where, um, where I would initiate these conversations. And it's actually really helped my relationships. Um, I'm still learning and growing with regards to, to stepping into this uncomfortable space but it would but it is something that I would encourage and I will link his video um, the hyperlink to his video in my my message box the next one that I've learned is that you can't win an argument and when I say you can't win an argument of course you can win an argument but at what cost so this is a lesson i learned reading um how to win friends and influence people i have not finished it but i do plan on completing it before the year is over and this is a book written by dale carnegie and i hope i pronounced his name correctly and basically um he in the book he writes a statement a man convinced against his will is still of the same mind and i don't know about you but again that's a statement that when you really stop and you think that no one wants there's at the end of the day we all have an ego and no one wants to feel as if they're defeated no one wants their mind to be forcefully changed um and let's say you manage to prove someone wrong okay you're right now that person feels inferior you've bruised their ego what does that do for your relationship so i've moved away from winning arguments sometimes even if i know i'm right i, I i'm willing to just be like okay like you know um let's do it your way let's see how that works and then maybe through the person's own experience then um they can see a different perspective or maybe i can see that actually um this is just a different way to do it and it might be another good alternative so in such a case i think it's a win-win where i'm able to learn something i'm able to see a different perspective and i'm able to maintain my relationships Number three comes three, three comes from uh, Robert Greene, and this is a book I recently started reading. The Laws of oh, I almost <laughs> the Laws of Human Nature, and um, in it he talks about how emotions turns us inwards, and this is also something I've seen in myself where. Um, if someone gets me upset I would then like you know you pull all the negative you begin viewing them in such a negative light despite this being someone who you know is not a bad person who you know doesn't mean, mean you any harm um, but it's just to satisfy your ego you have now created a narrative that satisfies everything that you think and satisfies these negative emotions and to overcome this you begin challenging it with you take take time out step back and you begin just challenging it with uh but actually we know that this person does not mean you any harm you know this person is a good friend and also you just try to i think understand people's personality the differences we all have different upbringing and often this can really impact on how we relate and the messages that we take away um, from similar interactions. So um, I think learning to understand people and to challenge my emotions has really been um, helpful with regards to maintaining a relationship. Okay, so this is a big one um, and it's the difference between perception versus intention um so i've had two incidences with different people where and i've been on either side one time i was the person who perceived a comment that was not intended to be negative negatively and the next time 
one of my friends perceive one of my comments negatively um and we will be right back let me get my light in order guys i'm back and we were talking on perception versus intention so i just wanted people to be mindful that sometimes what you perceive to be the truth might not be and your perception of a comment an event might differ from someone's intention and it is my belief that this stems from your underlying opinion of the person or i keep using the word perceive or how you perceive that person so in addition so what i mean is it, it relates to the halo effect if i perceive someone as good then everything they do are, is going to be good let's say they make a, a shady joke a shady comment i'm going to take that as a joke because i perceive them as good meanwhile if i perceive someone as negative then the slightest thing they do without intending to be might come across negatively um uh, another way, another thing that influences perception, your perception of someone is your personal insecurities. And um, if you perceive someone to be superior than you in some way, then this can easily take on a negative connotation. At least that's what happened when I viewed the person's comment as negative. I thought that. I perceived them to be more intelligent than I was and you know so there was this tussle of oh my ego this person is more intelligent and I thought they were looking down on me when they were when they weren't so I think being aware of your own insecurities facing it is uh, another way to overcome such issues with perception and, and intention and all of it just comes down to really good conflict resolution and from that i learned that conflict resolution is more than having a conversation because you can have a conversation but if you're both stuck in that phase of that divide between perception and intention then you're not having the same conversation and it would take some reflection on both of your parts to try and then come back to the red table and have another discussion um my final lesson is don't take it personal and this is one where sometimes certain people react in a certain way to you that's different than how you expect and it's not necessarily due to something you have done rather it's just maybe they're having a bad day maybe they were in their mind you know there's so much that can be going on and when we take things personal we create drama that isn't there and yeah so i try not to take things personal unless someone says listen i have an issue with you then i try to kill assumptions i no longer assume oh well um this person reacted differently to me or, or we didn't speak as we used to or, or their texting is off i was one of you to always say their texting is off you can't tell someone's mood through their text well not not fully um so i try to avoid doing that i don't take things personal if you want to have a chat with me about something sure great if not then everything is fine and dandy and i react normally to that person until they tell me listen something is wrong um, i just find jumping to assumptions is the worst for a relationship or um, maybe in some case you could just come out right and ask like you know is something wrong has something happened yeah so um all my five lessons turned out to be more with regards to relationships i didn't really intend it to be for relationships yeah but i guess yeah this is how to five ways in which i've learned to maintain good relationships this year and i hope to continue to build on these practices um do you find any of these useful have you ever had any conflict in your personal life 
and yeah it would be really great to hear from you guys and just share some more stories if you want me to go into a little more details i deliberately tried not to go into details just out of respect for my friends and family um if any of them give me the okay then maybe i'll give you a story time on one or two to give a little more context to some of the lessons i've learned but yeah i'm looking forward to hearing from you guys and what have you learned this year what are you looking forward to next year um from me you can't expect more videos i am trying to be more consistent i really love making videos and yeah I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope it's been a great year and I can't wait to see what 2022 has in store for us. Okay, that's it from me today. Bye.